Now, Bobby, you're keeping a very close eye on Hurricane Melissa tonight. A lot of folks are as well down in yeah, Jamaica. Yeah, you know, it's just you don't. I've been doing this for a long time, and you don't see this this often at all. Again, this is setting some records here, or at least top 10, right? 903 millibars is very, very low. Could get lower depending on the eye wall replacement cycles, but it's moving now to the north northeast at two miles per hour. That speed should pick up a little bit as we move through the overnight hours tonight, but that's going to mean that really early tomorrow morning and through the first half of Tuesday is really just going to be hellacious in Jamaica, uh, especially this area over here. That's where the highest winds will be. Now look, Jamaica is about 140 miles wide. The swath of hurricane force winds around the center is about 70 miles. OK, so if it comes in here, it's something like this. Yes, they'll get winds down on the Kingston side, but I think the highest winds will be out towards the grill. The grill's actually maybe on the back side of it, but that's going to be close to that area. So you can see now it kind of did a little bit of a loop to loop, if you will, and now it's coming back out to the north and the east. 175 mile per hour winds. Recon's been in there. In fact, this plane came out of Lakeland. That's one of our NOAA P3s. That thing dropped so much in the turbulence so quickly they had to bug out. They had to get out of the storm before they finished what they were doing because they had to get back and check to make sure that the plane was OK. That rarely happens, but it does happen from time to time. These are the winds now. So you can see where those highest winds are 175, probably right over in this area here. So it's a small area, but 150, 160 around that eye wall easily. And that's what you have to see where it goes on shore. And you can see it's probably going to be on that western side. Here's that forecast track. You can see it here and the grills here. 140 mile per hour winds after it goes over the mountains of Jamaica, 7,000 feet high in spots. And then southeast Cuba by the time we get towards late Tuesday night into early Wednesday and then Wednesday afternoon and evening in the southeastern Bahamas, parts of the Turks and Caicos as it heads out to sea. And yes, 85 mile per hour winds Thursday night. There's Bermuda. It's going to be very close to Bermuda as well. Uh, forecast models, I mean, at this point, what we really want to see is where does it get going to the northeast? Look at them all on the western side there. Yeah, that, that's going to put a lot of that wind there. Now, 15 to 30 inches of rainfall is expected. We've been talking about that number that really hasn't changed. The front that came through here today, you know, the showers that we saw, at least north of I-4, that's part of what's picking this up. A secondary one comes by the time we get towards Wednesday night, and that really picks it up and takes it out to sea. 